Okay, so my story actually starts when I was 20, when I moved to the States. Um, I had a pretty hard decision to make. Uh, I lost my parents at the age of 19. So it, my life became very difficult back at home. So I needed to find a new home, I guess. So I guess I made the decision to uh, move to the States and then I found some help actually uh, coming here and then uh, I end up, I don't even know how, like knowing a friend, I end up in Columbus. So uh, when I came to Columbus, uh, I found a job as a busboy at a restaurant in food called Quaker Steak. And then uh, I did it for four years. Uh, I, just, I just needed a job. So uh, I was working long hours. I was just trying to survive back then. So uh, I think uh, when I found myself in a situation where I already saved some money and I needed to decide you know, what's next? I saved money enough to uh, enroll to college and I got accepted to Ohio Dominican University. So I went there, I finished my, uh, I finished five years of uh, international business and it, it, I think uh, going to college, um, it was a way to honor my parents because, um, you know, back then, uh, you know, my parents always told me, I said, you have to get an education, you have to study. Uh, and, and not having them, I say, you know, what a way, better way to honor my parents that, uh, you know, to get a college education and find out really why. And then uh, when I graduated, I found many answers. I think it made me a better person. And then um, from then, I started setting a lot of goals in my life. So uh, one of them was uh, I decided to start uh, a business I was offered by a friend, I say, let's go and start some restaurants. And, you know, uh, working uh, at Quaker Steak, you know, I learned a lot and, you know, it wasn't the same being a manager to becoming, you know, you're running now the whole show, you're creating something new. So, uh, you know, I found uh, myself in a lot of issues and, you know, and I had to learn also the hard way, but I knew that I wanted to create something. I knew that I wanted to have my own business. So um, I decided if the customer doesn't come to you, you have to go and find it. Back then, uh, uh, the, the food truck industry just started to, I think, it being seen in, in Columbus. And my partner and I, we started setting up shop in, in, in companies like NetJet, outside of an elevator. And we would come with our setup, you know, and just start making food. And then we moved to a trailer and then we found out there's festivals and there's you know so many events to do. So, um, and I knew it right there. This is the business that we need to follow. And I created Tortilla. Um, Columbus has been great to me. Um, I needed to find a new home, and Columbus actually it is my new home. I I achieved my goals, which was you know to live on my own, to uh, have an education, and now to have a family. Uh, I got two kids, so. My life right now, it seems like, you know, it's under control, and even though, you know, you, you still grieve your parents. But I guess the best way to honor is just getting up every morning and working hard. And um, I will continue to do so. And then, um, so uh, I want to thank David because this opportunity is not only to share my story, but to thank uh, my, you know, friends and my employees that, you know, because this is not about me anymore. It's about my employees and everybody that makes, you know, us better at the same time. So um, I, I can't tell you one thing that, you know, everywhere we go, we, we're proud to say that we are from Columbus, Ohio. So David, thank you so much for having me today.